I think the hardest thing for people who get COVID is the not knowing. You don't know how it's going to affect you versus maybe someone else in your family. And what might be mild to you might be deadly to somebody you love. Uh, for me, I think one of the hardest parts was knowing that I got my family sick. And I didn't even know that I was sick or contagious to begin with. I thought I was being careful. I'd been basically just going back and forth from work and home. In retrospect, I wish I had been more careful. In the beginning, it just felt like allergy symptoms. I, I had this thing where I was clearing my throat all the time, uh, driving my wife crazy. A couple weeks in, I started having some problems breathing where I really noticed that it never quite felt like I could get a full lung full of air. I went from having problems breathing when I was doing exercise to problems breathing when I was at rest. So it became concerning. It got to the point where on one particular day I had to go to the emergency room because I was worried that I wasn't getting enough oxygen. They were able to give me something to help me breathe a little bit better, but even then it was, uh, it was kind of scary. There, was, there wasn't a lot that they could tell you about the symptoms or what could happen. There was news coming out about um, people in my age demographic having problems with blood clots and strokes. And uh, that, I think that was a big part too, the psychological component and the, the, I, the thought that I had gotten my family sick uh, and the feeling of guilt associated with that. Um, but also wondering who else I might have gotten sick, maybe at my office, people I work with and I care about. Um, so it probably took me about three months before I started feeling normal again in my chest. Nothing like the flu. I never had flu symptoms. Didn't have like the overwhelming like head stuffiness or phlegm uh, or a fever, never had a fever, never had a temperature. So I, I would have never known if they didn't tell me and who knows how many people I could have gotten sick. These days I'm feeling a, a lot better. Uh, and um, I, I feel like I, whatever needed to heal in my chest is, is healed, but my sense of smell still hasn't come back. Uh, things smell really weird to me these days. Even if you're young and healthy, you, it, it can be really difficult uh, not just physically, but psychologically and emotionally, uh, knowing that you could have given it to someone else, not knowing what could happen to you three, six months down the road. Are you going to recover from this? Is it going to cause any sort of lasting problems? We still don't know the answers to those questions. Look, I, I understand if you get it, maybe you have symptoms like me and maybe you feel like crap for a month, right? Anybody can get through that, right? But God forbid you should give it to your auntie or uncle or a friend who has a compromised immune system. Maybe they have asthma and things get a lot worse for them than make it hard for them to breathe when they're exercising.